All right, so today is Muscle Car Friday. Uh, you know, I've been working hard all week. It's time to go ahead and uh, kick back. Today, I have to take uh, one of my cars to the shop. I get to drop it off to go get some new brakes, a uh, new master cylinder to make sure it can stop all that horsepower. Then I'm going to pull a couple other cars out, wash them up, take a little ride, and then I'm going to drop another one off at the shop. Uh, then I'm going to stop by my motor shop and see how my motor's doing for the other car that's at the shop already. So we got three muscle cars that we're working on today. And uh, yeah, man, this is this Muscle Car Friday, man. I'm going to go kick back and just do Lifestyle Friday stuff. All right, so now we're about to go to the garage and go uh, check out the whip. So first we're gonna start off with the red Camaro. I'm gonna pull it out, she's a little dusty right now, so I'm gonna wash her off and we'll go over some of her features before we go ahead and pull her off, take her on a drive today. Usually I got one of my detail guys to pull up, man, but you know, can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, but this one got all the fresh suspension, all of the motor compartment all done. So this one uh, is really just waiting for paint material, which is secondary. This is my true dog for real. Yes, we we'll be on this lifestyle shit. We we'll be on that water. All the time. with it, you know, me and car dude for real. So you know that we just keeping it organic, man. This is how I come through. Gonna pull up on my people, and showcase my people. Right That's how we do it, baby. Right come on, man. Smoking woods, man. Smoking woods. Definitely man. with your boy. Man, right in town. Good boy. guy. Tour starting uh, uh, first in San Jose. Yeah, then yeah. we going to New York. Yeah. Yep. Then we coming back and we're gonna do the uh, the uh, LA run uh, of uh, uh, May. May. Yeah. And then boom, we're gonna do a uh, meet and greet in Latin America, Brazil, uh, Argentina. So right now it's pretty open. I did pop up, do some photos, get the fan base going, and, you know. And then and then the baby gonna come boom in July. And then after July we're gonna go ahead and start the tour back up. So I'm trying to do like 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 damn near 25 cities. Maxwell Park area of Oakland. This is a rehabilitated house that was pretty much uh, was a one story that was raised to a two story. My boy Brandon Yu, who owns Yu Construction, uh, put together this masterpiece. A lot of my real estate investment game and construction game I actually learned from Brandon and his people that he works with. So, yeah, man, let's take a look at one of his properties. It's my boy Brandon right here. What's up, What's up man? How you doing? It's about 1,800 square feet, four bedrooms. Okay. Three baths. Uh, you know this thing got this thing's pretty much loaded, man. It has a, got a full backyard and a back. I walk you through. So it's so just got three bedrooms. Okay. Up here, my wife designed everything. Okay. Shout out Michelle. Michelle. Another bedroom here. And this uh, is the master here. Yep. This is the master right here. Okay. And it kind of leads out to the backyard. I like that wall, man. Yeah, the wall's it's good it's accent dope. piece. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you got a full backyard here. Nice, man. So basically, full through and through, all the way to the landscape in the back, man. Yeah. This is done yeah, just like that. Right around here, too. Want a nice open home. Done right, built right. Yep. This right here is some good quality. Good quality construction, man. And keep in mind, this was uh, just a one story. So now this is a two story. You actually raised the house up and put a whole nother floor underneath. So that's how you add value. Some game for you if you like that real estate investment. Wow. So they can do whatever they want out here. You can have a you know recording studio. You okay. Have, you can have a uh, you can even put a kitchenette down here. Now I like these little accent lights. You know, and this is not just you know just ordinary downstairs. Alright. Okay. Oh, it's a nice little garage. garage. You know, Maxwell Park doesn't have a lot of parking. So we made an extra three cars here. So you can fit about five cars total. Wow. 
So right. the parking situation so that's big. is fantastic. So you can't, you can't really create parking, but when we have an opportunity, we do. So the whole goal here was to make sure all your livable space is what we call regulation or yes. to code. Yes, up to yeah, code. Yeah, it has to be eight foot ceilings. All everything that we done, everything is done with permits. Key man, somebody just be able to come in and move their family in, and I have no issues. So first, you see the house building, how we do the cars, how we do the houses, how we do the dogs. Everything is top notch, high quality, baby. down the street from the shop you know uh you know nice smooth little ride to mel peters about to pull up the destructive rides and uh yeah man it's a good day man beautiful day in california it's just good bay area life man you know so this is what we do man this is this is what it's all about we work hard to enjoy this shit man and enjoy our life man and you know alhamdulillah all the blessings I'm here with my boy Shane. He works over here at Disruptive Rise. My boy Sanad owns it. He's gonna be here soon. But he's just uh, going over some different things. We're trying to just get the Chevelle ready for the summer. Got a couple of things to do with the braking system. Just stiffen up the steering a little bit, as well as work on the rear end. So the boy can slide nice and easy. I try to, you know, when I pop the clutch to let it slide, I'm like, da, 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 da. like it didn't, it didn't, it didn't slide very easy. It's kind of making things wide. It didn't, you know, just brake traction and go. Yeah. It's kind of wide. So what do you think? We, what do you think we need to do? To me, it sounds like you just have an open differential in there, so just throw some kind of uh, limited slip unit in there. Okay. It'll let you turn and not scrub your tires. Now, I thought I had that before, but now is maybe it's bad? It could have gone bad, it could have broke. Okay. I, mean, I don't know when it was put in, if it was put in originally before you guys Yeah, so before the motor and everything, and motor, that, engine, right? everything, the rear end was never touched, so we're gonna have to open up the rear end and see what's going on there. Yeah, it probably wasn't built for all the power you have now. There we go, so we're gonna get that right. So we're here at Disruptive Rides. It's my other Camaro here, it's another 6.9. This doesn't have the hideaway lights, so this is actually a different front. But this is gonna be the super race car. This one has a twin turbo motor being built. It's gonna be uh, about 1500 horsepower. Uh, twin turbo, Nelson twin turbo, with the LS setup. Uh, man, as you can see, you know, the suspension. We got the uh, Detroit Speed front end here. I mean, it's a serious, serious front end suspension. Tub, you know, suspension in the back. I mean, this thing is legit, man. Serious, trendy, you know, real race car shit, man. So, this is, uh, you know, big brakes. Big everything, man. So I've been taking my time on this one. This shit's got a lot of work. I actually picked up this project. It was already pretty much like uh, partially built, which was cool because a lot of times some of the custom work, you pay for that. A lot of times that's where the big money and hours come in. So I was able to pick up a project that someone else was doing and then just pay to finish it off, which is awesome. So this is pretty much going to be the, the monster of all monsters. But uh, for now, we're just taking our time with the build. Uh, from here, I'm going to actually go to the engine shop. We're gonna go check out the motor that we're doing for this thing over by my boy Samir over there at Grom Racing Motors. So, yeah, man, just check out this baby right here. Doing some custom stuff to it. Um, you know, we basically shaved, uh, you know, shaved the body so we can make the bumper really tuck in. See the body work here. Uh, if you go through here, you can see all the suspension. They had a lot of parts to it when I bought it. So you can see that this suspension is just the real deal man everything is built right man this is like a true race car so yeah man I'm, I'm fired up about this for sure man this is a big 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 project man i've been excited to build it So we're about to walk into Grom Racing. We're about to check out my boy Samir and check out my motor for the 69 Camaro. That's gonna be a thousand plus horsepower. And uh, yeah, man, he's built the motors for both of my other cars. So today I just wanna come check him out. We have an aftermarket dart block. So um, we'll start with that. That's the foundation of the build. It's got billet main caps. Um, it's a thicker, stronger casting and everything like that. So when we're putting the, the, all that power to it, we're not gonna have anything failing on you or anything like that. Better right. oiling, so it's got priority main oiling. Um, 
and a bunch of other features that make it amazing. So, right. So the biggest difference between the LS and uh, the LS1 and the LS3 were the, the four bolts on the crank or what now, was it? Now with the LS1, it was the bore size. Okay. So the LS3 came out as a four inch 70 bore or four inch 70, yeah, four inch 70 bore. Um, and then uh, the stroke is all the same. The 3.622 is the standard stroke. So this, this is has gonna a be better a four, seal or This is gonna it? be 427 cubic inches. But this is an aftermarket block so it could handle a lot more power. Okay. Um, we're gonna put a fully counterweighted crank. And what I mean by that is typically uh, the counterweights on a standard uh, crankshaft are out here. So mm -hmm. what ends up happening is the weight and you get a lot more deflection and flexing in the crankshaft. This has counterweights throughout all of it. So it evens up all of that. You get less deflection, it can spin higher, take more power, um, all of those features. We just got finished over here at Grom Racing. Samir showing major love on my build. He's hooking me up for real, man. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And make sure, man, you will take a ride with Cali K9, man. We're gonna be, you know, a lot of times we riding in these old schools. This is what we like to do. Uh, on the spare time. So like and subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace.